I think it's important to keep in mind that when you're dealing with the building department, it is not only a submittal of a set of drawings for plan check. What you need to consider is that we are dealing with a negotiation. We are there to negotiate a uh, plan check review. It's important to, for the plan checker to be able to know what we are communicating, what we're trying to achieve. So a very good set of plans is very, very important. And also a way to persuade him of what we need to do or what we are, our end goal is in getting a plan check for these drawings. Sometimes they will look at the drawings and they'll, their mind will go in different directions if, it's, if, if the intent is not communicated right. That indeed uh, your intentions are to possibly build a type of building, but then they might that they might think that you're trying to do something else that will tri trigger other requirements. So those other requirements not only will delay your plan check process, will make it more expensive, and will re require um, implement requirements that you never had in mind to uh, to incorporate into that one project. So it's important to be able to be prepared to negotiate this plan check with the building department. Some building departments are easier to work with than others. Uh, and uh, if they are very busy, well, they just try to get them out as, as fast as they can. And, and uh, they will uh, not make things as complex uh, for you. However, if they aren't too busy, believe me, they are going to look at your drawings with a fine tooth and comb and, and they're going to possibly bring requirements that you never knew even existed. So it is very, very important to, uh, to consider uh, that beforehand, before submitting your plans into plan check. Also, to be able to develop a relationship with a plan checker and uh, the building official. Uh, when you have a relationship, Truly, relationships, good relationships, go a long way in your plan check.